This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. One interactive element you might want to include in your vPython simulation is a pause button. So what I've done here is create a sample program to show you how you can do that. Let's actually start at the bottom to show what it is we are animating here. We are setting up an animation of a ball going around in a circle. So we're keeping track of a time variable t and we're setting the ball's position equal to cosine time, sine time, cosine t over two, just to give it a little bit of motion in all three directions. Uh, you could replace this, of course, with something more physics-y, with an Euler-Cromer method, uh, with maybe adding some electric charges or something, um, but this is, this is just to show you a sample animation. The rest of the code works through getting you the uh, the pause button. So you could take this chunks lines four through 17 and just copy paste that into any simulation you're running uh, and use this to basically drop in a play pause button. So we're creating a button here. It's gonna have text of pause to tell us it's the pause button. Uh, we're gonna place it in the title portion of the scene. So it'll go just above the animation window. And here we're binding that button to the run function. So bind is the it's the attribute that tells us what the button is going to do. So up here, we're defining the run function. Uh, run is accepting as its argument B. The B here stands for the button. So you notice I don't have to give the button a name here because it's, it's getting passed as an argument to the run function thanks to the bind option here. So here, we got to keep track of three things. We have to keep track of whether we are running. We start out running equal true. Right? And basically what we want this run function to do is switch running from true to false. Now just changing that is not in and of itself going to do anything. That's just keeping track of what the state is. What we're really looking to change is dt. Remember dt is the time step. It's the thing that increments us forward in time from one animation frame to the next. So what we're looking to do is basically toggle dt from its original value to zero and then back to the original value. That's why we need this remember DT so that when we switch DT to zero, remember DT has saved what the value for DT is. So here what we do because we've pressed the button. Uh, so remember run is the thing that happens when you press the button. So the first thing we're gonna do is change running to its opposite. So if running was true, now it'll be false. If it was false, now it'll be true. So running from line eight on is the new value of running. It's the new state for the system. So if we are now running, if we have gone from paused to playing, we need to do two things. First, we need to change the text of the button to reflect what it is the button is going to do now. And we also need to reset DT. So we've gone from DT being stopped, DT being zero, to now the animation moving forward, DT going back to its original value. So we reset DT to the value that we asked the computer to remember. Otherwise, if we're not running, if we've gone from play to pause, we need to do three things. We need to change the text like we did before. We need to save the value of dt because we're about to set dt equal to zero. And once dt is zero, the animation is no longer going to run. And that's basically it. You can take lines four through 17 here, drop it into your code, uh, if you're using the, the variable name dt, you don't really need to change anything. If you've called it time step or delta t, you just have to change that variable name in here in this one, two, three spots, right? So when you run this, we'll press control two to run. Here is our animation. Uh, it is moving along just fine because we are running. Watch what happens when I click on pause. When I click on pause, I have activated the run subroutine and the run subroutine uh, tells me that I need to adjust DT, right? So we are no longer running. We've gone running equals false. So now to set DT equal to zero. Because DT equals zero, T is no longer changing. And so this ball dot pause is no longer changing either. It's, it's being given the same position. The loop itself is still running, right? The loop runs while true. So the loop is still running, the, the program is still running. I'm still able to right click and rotate inside here and do all the usual stuff I can do with a vPython display, but I've turned off the animation in the sense that this ball is moving a distance of zero each frame. So it's still updating. It's still going through the loop, but the ball itself is not moving. I can press run again, and there it moves along. It picks up right where we left off, right? Because we're not resetting the program. 
We're simply saying pause for right now, don't change any values, and then start changing the values again. And I can repeat this as many times as I need to. I can maybe get this thing lined up for the perfect dramatic shot that I need for my lab report. And then once that passes, I can pause again to rotate it around. Maybe I need to get a measurement off the screen or something like that. And then once I'm ready to go, I can run it again. So you can just repeat this as many times as you would like. So I hope that's useful to you in your vPython simulations, giving you a basic measure of control over what's happening inside the animation. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.